PeteTools.com. G'day my friends, how are we all going today? Another boring episode, the silly old gits here to tell you something that you didn't really want to know. Anyway, what am I going on about today? A lot of you guys have emailed me and asked me why do I keep blowing out the top of my tips, especially with the cheap plasma cutters, you know. Uh, you just put it on the steel and it just blows your tip to kingdom come. I mean, lucky they're not that expensive. Mind you, when I first started plasma cutting, I was paying about $8 each for these tips, which is absolutely crazy, but we live in New Zealand and the prices here are nuts anyway. Anyway, guys, today I'll give you a tip on how not to blow the end off your plasma cutter consumables. Same as usual, guys. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day. I'll get in the comments below if you want. And uh, let's get into it, eh? Yeah! So, guys, it doesn't really matter if you're using a pilot arc torch or a non-pilot arc torch like this. The uh, theory's the same. Um, why you keep blowing out the end of your consumables. Um, obviously, if you're using a pilot arc torch like this one, which is the uh, AG60, or this torch here, the P80, They've got a standoff guide on them. Well, this one normally has wheels on it that holds it off the steel. But this has got a standoff guide, as you can see. It's a pilot arc. So what that does, guys, is it holds it off your metal like that when you're cutting. So your torch here doesn't actually touch the metal. Because that's another main reason why you'll blow out your consumables. Because these consumables here on a pilot arc are not designed to touch the metal. Whereas these ones here on a non-pilot arc, these are designed to drag. This is what they call a drag tip, where you drag it along your metal like so. And a lot of you guys are asking me, why am I blowing out these tips? And I'll show you. So if you guys are anything like me, you got your plasma cutter on, it was the first time you had your plasma cutter, and thought, well, I'm going to get into this, and it says on the box that it can cut up to 10 mil. I don't know, really know what that is in Imperial, but this is about 10 mil, guys, see that? And you think, right, let's get into it, and I'm going to cut a piece 10 mil, and then you do this. First of all, guys, before I do this little experiment, I'll put new consumables in so you know that I'm just showing you what's happening. <laughs> Got a new electro there, we'll use the same swirl ring and we'll put a new put a new cutting nozzle in. So this is a new set of consumables. Radio Pete! Got it out of the box, now let's get into it. Yeah! Cut through this sucker! Oh shit! Well, that's not going like it says on the box. What's happening there? Give it another go, guys. Oh, we're through. Yeah! But then you look at your torch and you say, shit, what did I do? I melted the end off my consumables. What's going on here? Talk about a reject machine, my god, they sold me a dud. As you can see guys, it's actually blowing a hole through the 10mm plate here, but it's also buggered your consumables instantly. See that ugly consumables there guys? What it's done is it's dug a hole in here, and it's, the orifice is too big. Orifice, that's a big word for you Pete, it means the hole. <laughs> the hole's too big now, and what it's doing is it's going really wide with the cut, and you haven't got the penetration, you haven't got the depth anymore. So now you're saying, well that's useless, you can't even cut 10 mil plate, but you can. 10 mil is about the maximum that you can do for 40 amp, which is what I'm on now, but you can cut this quite easy. But you just don't start the way I started it, because if you start it like that, you're going to blow the top out of your consumables, and then when you go to the next cut, you're going to have to put a new consumable on. So this is what I'd do. So what i got here, guys, this is a real exaggeration, but it'll just prove the point of what I'm trying to show you. So you got your little tip here, you got your little cutting tip here, what you're asking this cutting tip to do, is to cut through 10 mil, if you've got 10 mil or however much of that is in, in Imperial, I don't know what it is, but you're asking it to cut through 10 mil directly straight down, and this is what happens. You haven't got a shit show of this cutting through there. What it's doing is you're pulling the trigger, it's hitting on the steel, it can't get underneath it to blow through, so what it's doing is it's blowing all the heat and all the crap back up into the end of your torch here, and it's just melting the end of your nozzle like that. And like I say, this is a huge exaggeration, but it does exactly the same on this, but on a smaller version. So now you're saying, Pete, well, what the hell? I want to cut this thick. Well, you can cut that thick. You just don't want to start from the middle. Here, I'll show you. So because I buggered this tip the first time, guys, I'll just change the tip out. Yeah, the electrode's still alright, but the tip is just knackered. 
See here, it's got really, really hot. It's gone blue. I mean, these things get hot, but they shouldn't get blue. As you can see, the hole's buggered in it, and it's all horrible on the top. It's just melted. So what we'll do is we'll put the new one in. Put this back on. All right, now as I've already blown a hole in here, we'll start from here. All right, let's see if we can actually cut 10 mil without blowing through the tip. So you notice I'm already starting it through the hole. So you know when I pull the trigger, you watch the sparks will come directly at the bottom. See that, guys? We've got a direct passage straight through, so it's not coming up through the bottom and hitting the torch. That's what, that's what the main problem is. As long as you can get a free flow through your cut, then your tips will last a million percent longer. Anyway, stop waffling, Pete. See if I can cut this. Not exactly fast, guys, but you know, you get the general idea. I know we'll cut it off completely, guys. Beautiful. See that, guys? It did actually cut it. Yo, it's freaking hot as well. But as you can see, guys, it cut it. It's 10 mil thick. So there you go. And did we bugger our consumables? Let's have a look, Pete. If you have a look at that, compare it with the other one, this is still good for another two or three cuts, big cuts like this, before you have to throw it away. That's what I'm saying. Well, when you start cutting, guys, cut from the edge. Always cut from the edge. See that guys, the spark's going down all the time, and as you can see, it didn't blow out the tip, it just welded it to the table. Ow! <laughs> Get off there. I'm not going to grab that again, because I almost burnt myself while I did burn myself. <laughs> see guys, it actually severs it, it cuts through it when you cut from the edge. If you try and blow a hole through it first, you'll bugger your tips first. But then you're saying, Pete, well what if I can't cut from the edge? What if I want to cut a hole in the middle? Well then they suggest, and if you actually look in your owner's manual, not that anyone reads their bloody owner's manual anyway, they suggest that you drill a hole to start off with. It's even mentioned in your owner's manual or your machine. Once you drill a hole in the, about the center of your cut, then put your torch through the hole and then start cutting. That way you don't blow up all the shit back into your torch head. Here, I'll show you another way. Now if you don't want to drill a hole and you can't start from the edge, start like this. Hold your torch on an angle like so, so the sparks can hit and then blow through. So they're still bouncing over the top, not directly up and down like this. So if we go like this, and then slowly bring your torch down. There you go, we're through, see that? And then start cutting. But if you're cutting some plate like this, guys, this is about 3 mil. I mean, it's still solid steel. You can make trailers and all sorts of stuff out of it. I mean, it's not shit metal by any stretch of the imagination. Then it's not so much of a bother. You can actually blow straight through this without doing too much damage. See that? Almost instantly it went through. Piece of cake. So what happens if I put another bit underneath it? Let's have a look. Still a piece of cake. So if we go one more. You notice how long that took to go through? And that millisecond is blowing up into your torch. Like I said, that, that what I showed you before, that big block of steel, that's a big exaggeration, but that's exactly what's happening here. So if we go one more. Oh shit, and burn yourself while you're doing it. <laughs> Let me line that up, guys, without burning myself again. I'm oh, bugger for that, eh? 
So here we go on this side, we'll drop it through, see how long it takes. See how long it took that time guys? So that's what I'm saying. The thin of the steel, you can blow through it. The thicker the steel, the longer it takes. The longer it takes, the more it will bugger your nozzle. The more it buggers your nozzle, the more frustrated you're going to get. And that's basically the story of how to cut friggin' with a plasma cutter. And that's basically Pete's lecture for the day. <laughs> so guys, that's how I ended up buggering most of my tips anyway. I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't drill a hole and I didn't cut from the edge. I just barred straight into it and I thought, yeah, it says on the tin it's going to be able to cut half an inch. So I'm going to cut three quarters of an inch. You know, cutting shit like this, I thought, yes. But I don't know if you're anything like me, you don't cut this sort of stuff that often anyway. Well, I don't. But um, yeah, it's a learning curve anyway, guys. And if you're going to cut this sort of stuff, Drill a hole in it first, guys. Quite easy. Save yourself some money. Save yourself some frustration. Keep all that hair on, and uh, you'll be away. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe. Drop me a like. Drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you want. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Pete's Tools. Com. Com. Com.